What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracles you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link in the description box now. What up, y'all? It's your man Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, let's get to work. All right, so Casanova's fate is ultimately almost sealed. We have some breaking news in the development of his case. He was one of 18 people indicted in a connection with a number of gang-related crimes, including racketeering, murder, drugs, firearms, and fraud offenses. Today has pleaded guilty to those various charges. Now, Casanova admitted to a shooting and a robbery and being a gang leader in the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation blood gang. He is the 13th person to plead guilty in this case. Now, as a part of the racketeering conspiracy offense, Casanova admitted to participating in a shooting in Florida on July 5th, 2020, a robbery in NYC on August 5th, 2018, and conspiracy to traffic over 100 kilograms of marijuana. According to the indictment, between 2004 and 2020, Casanova was a part of a racketeering conspiracy with the Gorilla Stone Gang. He admitted that on or about July 5th, 2020, while at a party in Florida that included gang members, he shot someone during a gambling dispute. Casanova, who is 35 years old, is scheduled to be sentenced by the United States District Judge Philip M. Halpern on December 6, 2020 at 11 a.m. He faces up to 60 years in prison. Somebody that was on their way to superstardom definitely had a buzz out here. Name was going crazy. And then we see once again these federal authorities, these DAs, these state agents, whatever you want to call them, sweeping up these rappers, chewing them up and spitting them out, giving them football numbers by the dozen. It is absolutely insane what we got going on in hip-hop right now. We see what's going on with Young Thug. We see what's going on around the hip-hop community. If you're not dodging bullets and running around for your life, you in here dodging fed cases, man. I don't know what else to say. Big up to Casanova. Just pleaded guilty, hopefully. You know what I mean? This could kind of alleviate some of the numbers they were ready to throw at you if, in fact, you were found guilty. So, hey, man, all I can say is prayers up. Stay positive for his family, his children, his mother, people who are out here that are going to be serving that time with him on the outside, suffering on the outside. Big ups to them and strength inside, man. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of this situation. Also, if you're not subscribed to the brand, please do right now. Hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps motivate and move the platform. Always appreciate it. Until next time, until next story, Sam and CEO of the brand. Love y'all, man, and I'm out of here. Peace.